this is Dr. Janet Bruno and today I want to talk about a question that's been quite controversial for some time and that is which is better plant protein or animal protein now there's been a lot of research recently that's been addressing this question and in all reality the supporters of the animal protein diet are having an increasingly difficult time to talk about the benefits of animal protein over plant protein because all of the new studies are truly showing that plant protein is indeed superior to animal protein. The protein from vegetables, as an example, has been well documented to lower blood pressure. Really, the higher the vegetable protein intake, the lower the blood pressure is. And this is further supported by supplementary studies which shows that the magnesium and amino acids present in the vegetables are actually observed to, to actually cause the lowering of the blood pressure in humans. And going further, it's readily apparent that vegans as a whole, when you do demographic studies, vegans are lighter in weight than meat eaters. That's well documented. And going further, there's many studies that have shown that plant protein has some beneficial components that's not found in animal protein. So really the result of all these studies provides quite solid proof that a plant-based diet is truly a wiser choice than a diet that depends on animal protein. So let's address this question, why is plant-based protein so important? Well protein is an essential component of muscle growth and development as well as the mechanism which slows down the aging process of muscles. So it's very important. And it's also vital for the optimal operation of the cardiovascular system. Protein's also been known to aid in the nutrition of cancer patients, to help control diabetes, to reduce stress, as well as sharpen memory. So other benefits from choosing vegetables as your protein source are that it, it does lower your risk of having ischemic heart disease. It definitely has been documented to lower blood cholesterol levels. It can prevent hypertension. It can prevent known prostate and colon cancer. So truly choosing plant protein means choosing to have a healthier and longer life. So with just a little bit of planning, your vegan diet can be protein rich, where you can get all the nutrients that your body needs. There are so many different excellent sources of protein available, such as soy products, grains, nuts, peas, beans, as well as a wide variety of vegetables and fruits. And the variety of protein products that's been made popular to consumers that are conscious to their weight include some of the more popular things such as energy wheat protein bars, tofu cakes, the green leafy green smoothies, as well as many other things that are quite popular. So it's an important to, distinction to make of plant protein over animal protein is the fact that ex excessive intake of animal protein is very well documented to cause increased calcium loss from the body. And this can actually increase your risk of osteoporosis. Now plant-based protein has a very different effect on the body, which once again underlines the importance of where you get your protein. So some additional advantages between animal protein and plant protein I think is important for you to understand. Plant proteins are rich in antioxidants and other nutrients, as well as plants reduce the risk of colon problems because there's very much fiber in the plant-based protein. And plant protein is free from any of the cholesterol which is well documented to contribute to heart disease. So let's talk about the best plant protein sources. Some of the best sources are actually legumes, and these would include kidney beans, lentils, chickpeas, lima beans, cooked soybeans, and many others. It's important to know that soy protein in particular is absorbed quickly by the kidneys, and it can actually be helpful for those people who have some kidney disease or kidney problems. Grains are also important. Grains are lower in protein content, however they still provide protein benefit for the diet. And examples of healthy grains are rice, noodles, pasta, specifically whole grain pasta, bread, cereals, and wheat. 
So it's important to know that while plant-based food may be lower in total protein content relative to the animal protein, it's simple. By carefully planning and cooking, you can get all the benefits that optimal protein intake provides with none of the fat and cholesterol that's inherent to the animal protein. It's truly just simply a much healthier way to live. So I hope you found this little summary helpful and you will cause some stimulation to think about your particular diet. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.